All right, welcome in. My name's Ryan. I'll be your pilot. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Boys and girls, we're talking a little Roger Saffold action. The Jets wind up bringing in the former Pro Bowl offensive guard in after the trade deadline passed. Jets did not make any moves to the wide receiver core or offensive line. So obviously Jets still needed to bring someone in at some point. You have to have it. And I'm actually a really big fan of this move. Roger Saffold, if you guys remember, I was pounding the table for him back in 2019 when he was leaving the Rams. I thought he was a very, very good guard. And he wound up having two of his Pro Bowl seasons in 2021 and 2022. Oddly enough, the Jets offensive line coach with Tennessee had Roger Saffold under him for those, uh, those years as well. So very, very excited for this guy that knows the system already, can come in, has a pedigree of being good. Now, he did play for Buffalo last year, and you can look back at his pro football focus grades. People will make a comment and say, oh, man, he's washed. Look at this. Uh, I didn't look at the amount of hurries he had. I don't have it pulled up anymore. Um, but you're looking at Buffalo, and you're saying, wow, well, he's clearly dropped off a map. I think, one, it's a little tough to pick up a system in one year. But then, two, there's also the difficulty of having to block for Josh Allen versus someone like Ryan Tannehill. And let me explain. Ryan Tannehill is much more the pocket passer and ready to get the ball out quicker. Josh Allen tries to look for those explosive plays, those big plays. So you might see some elevated hurries or hits or something along those lines for Roger Saffold, purely because Allen is holding on to that ball so much longer, so it's going to generate more hurries. Now, I would have to go back and watch the actual tape to know if that's concretely what's actually happening, so take that with a little grain of salt. But overall, Jets needed interior offensive line help. I think this is at least a worthwhile swing. I still have no idea why Lyle Collins is not being signed by anyone else. I would like to just see, just bring in all the offensive linemen. Anyone that wants to come in, big guy, sumo wrestlers, yep, yeah, boom, throw them on the line. Let's get them out there. They're good at pushing people around, right? All right, let me know your guys' thoughts of Roger Seifel down below in the comments. And as always, go Jets! Jets!